Hey gardeners, happy Friday. So I'm gonna do a feature Friday today. Um, even if I don't get it posted until Saturday, I'm still gonna do it today. Last week I got busy and didn't get to do anything for feature Friday, so I wanted to make sure I done something today. So today I'm gonna to do a snow white cherry. And my snow white cherry is super small because I don't know how many of you saw the earlier video earlier in the year when I almost killed all of my tomatoes with fertilizer that was too strong. So my snow white cherry was one that was affected deeply by that mistake. Um, so I did have one, um, but I did give that one to a friend. So I did restart those and this is mine. So it'll be a little later producing than some of the others, but that's okay, I don't mind waiting. This is worth waiting for. This is my very favorite cherry tomato ever. So far, you know, I have to plant new ones every year and, and test that theory because I'm always on the lookout for something uh, better tasting. I, I don't know why, that's just how most gardeners are, I think. So this is an indeterminate variety. So it will grow all year long until frost or disease takes it out. It um, will produce in about 65 to 75 days. And the fruits are fairly small. They only weigh about one to two ounces each. And they start off green like most tomatoes and they um, ripen to a real pretty yellowish. Some of them look kind of yellow and some of them are a creamy white. Um, but last year it was my very favorite cherry tomato in the garden. It was so delicious. Very few of these ever made it into my house that they were so good. I ate them in the garden every time I was out there. Um, last year mine was not very prolific, although this plant is supposed to be very prolific. So this year I will not do as much pruning on it because, um, you know, I've discussed pruning cherry tomatoes or, or not to prune cherry tomatoes. That's controversial. So it does take away from the production that you're going to get if you prune your cherry tomatoes, but it also helps to keep it in check size-wise. So I do prune my cherry tomatoes, but this year I will prune this one less than I did last year. And gardening is like everything else. You know, it's trial and error. You learn as you go. Literally every year you learn something, and I'm no different. I am certainly no expert, so... But I love growing things and I love growing cherry tomatoes because they are probably my very favorite thing in the garden, if you have not figured that out by now. The Snow White Cherry has a sweet flavor to it. It's very juicy. Um, one description I saw described it uh, as having notes of citrus and pineapple. I don't know that I tasted citrus or pineapple. I can see the citrus flavor, but I don't know that I tasted um, notes of pineapple, but you know, my palate may not be very mature, who knows? Um, so anyway, that's my very favorite cherry tomato and I'm so excited to grow it this year. And I will insert some pictures of what this thing looks like fully mature. Since mine is not even close, it's gonna be a while on that one. So it does need to be staked. Um, pretty much most indeterminate varieties will need to be staked because they just continue to grow and grow and grow. So I usually just use a cattle panel trellis for mine. Well, not really a trellis because I guess a trellis goes over. Um, I, I use it flat. I just use T-posts and I let the tomatoes, maybe five or six in a row, lean up against a 16 foot cattle panel and that's how I support mine. I've tried to use tomato cages before without much luck. Um, they're just not strong enough to support the indeterminate varieties um, that I like to get. Um, if you use those to stake a determinate variety, like a celebrity, well, a celebrity is more of a semi-indeterminate, uh, um, but I have used a tomato cage to um, support the celebrity and it done just fine. The determinants do not tend to get as big as the indeterminates. So it is an open pollinated variety. And that just means that it was pollinated naturally and not in a lab. Even if it was hand pollinated by a person, it's still considered open pollinated. Uh, so whether it was by nature, by accident, or whether someone 
tried to just put two varieties together by hand pollinating, that is open pollination. So I'm excited to grow this this year and I hope that some of you all tried. I know I've had a couple of you um, that have gotten these from me before last year and this year. So I hope that you all think it is as delicious as I do. So happy Friday you all and happy gardening. Have a great night. God bless you.